Cooper. He's one half of one of the great comedy teams of all time. It's Tommy Chong, who, of course, worked as part of the duo Cheech and Chong. And, Tommy, it's certainly nice to have you here with us today. Well, it's certainly nice to be here, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah, you're always happy. Now, if you could talk about where you grew up and what got you into the entertainment business. Well, I grew up as a little guy in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And uh, I've been entertaining people since I was about 10 years old because I, I knew how to play guitar. And a fiddle player across the uh, field from my house... He used to enlist me to play for parties. And so I've been entertaining forever. Now, you and Cheech, of course, had several hit albums and singles in the early to middle 1970s. Now, your breakthrough album in 1971 was a self-titled album called Cheech and Chong. Yeah. Appropriately. Talk about that album. Well, it was our very first album. It, uh, it took us from poverty to a new car. And we could pay rent without having to sneak around. I mean, you could eat regularly. There you go. Uh, was able to buy my wife's shoes. There you go. She once threatened to leave me if I couldn't buy her a pair of shoes. Uh-oh, uh-oh. But oh, no. uh, our life changed. Oh, yeah, know, definitely. And then that time. album, of course, featured the classic uh, Dave skit, you know. It's me, Dave. Open up. Yeah. Talk about that one and Dave's, how that came about. Dave's Not Here was the very first thing we ever recorded. And we were rehearsing a, another bit. But Cheech went outside, and the door locked from inside, so he couldn't get back in. So every time he'd knock, I'd just go, who is it? <laughs> and, and I wouldn't let him in. I just kept saying, who is it? And he'd say, it's me, man, it's me. Uh -huh. Finally he goes, it's me, Dave. <laughs> and then I said, Dave? <laughs> what an inspiration. for. And he got all happy. He thought I was going to open the door. I said, Dave? And he goes, yeah. And I go, Dave's not here. <laughs> <laughs> now, in 1972, along came Big Bamboo for Cheech and Sean. Classic uh, Sister Mary Elephant, uh, of course, came off that album. That, that came from Cheech's Catholic upbringing. When Cheech was a kid, he was terrorized by the nuns. And one of the nuns, a substitute teacher, they nicknamed her Sister Mary Elephant because she was big and she bellowed like an elephant. <laughs> and... And that became a signature piece for us for many years. You bet it did. It became a Top 40 single yeah. in early 1974. It was played on Top 40 radio, unheard of, certainly, yeah. back then or even now. Now, how many voices were on Sister Mary Elephant? Oh, God. I, we know, I don't, we, one time we counted all the characters we did. It was like over 140. Was it all you and Cheech on that? All Cheech. Well, no, we had some of the... Uh, we'd enlist uh, my daughters and that. Who did the shut up part? Who did Cheech. that? That's Cheech. Cheech. Okay, very, very good. Cheech was playing around with the engineers, and they, they wanted a, a mic level. <laughs> so he screamed in the mic. All right, that's good. good and, you know, kind of ruined their hearing, but we'll do anything for a laugh. Talk about Basketball Jones. Basketball Jones, well, uh, we were on our way to the Laker game one night, and Cheech was in the back seat. Jack Nicholson was driving the car. How about that? On the wrong side of the road and going as fast as he could, and Cheech was very scared, very nervous, so he started singing, I got basketball, Jones! And uh, I remembered it, and the next day we went in and recorded it. We wrote the rest of the lyrics. Inspired by it. Love, Jones, which was a hit earlier That's that right. year. That's right. Talk That's about Eric My Eye, how that came about, the inspiration. Eric My Eye was uh, inspired by a party Cheech and I went to one time. And this, this blues affectionado, he had this very special record that he owned. He, he would keep under wraps, and he, and he was only going to play it, you know, just for Cheech and Chong. And he put it on the turntable, and, and he put the needle on very carefully, and, and he closed his, he sat down beside the record player, and he closed his eyes to listen to it. And some guy that was running the party, he, he walked over and he just ripped the, the needle right across oh. the record. He <laughs> took it off and put a, a party record on and put it on and walked away. And Cheech and I used that part, you know, that, hey, that's my record, man. And that concludes interviews I did with several well-known celebrities. Singer Pat Boone, baseball player Steve Garvey, radio and TV personality Wink Martindale, Countdown Show, American Top 40 host for a while, Shadow Stevens, radio and TV voice man Gary Owens, Los Angeles radio personality Brian Byrne, and actor and comedian Tommy Chong. I'm John Lindstrom.
Thank you very much for listening.